Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different from normal, and we're actually gonna take a look at two completely different Docker containers. The first one is meant to be helpful, and the other one, well, isn't. I will say they are both meant to be public facing, and we're gonna take a look at both of those right after a quick message from today's video sponsor. This episode is sponsored by Linode, the largest independent cloud computing provider. If you don't want to, or can't for whatever reason, self-host applications the way we talk about on this channel, Linode provides virtual servers that make it easy and affordable for you to host anything in the cloud. You can set up any of the applications that they have available in their marketplace with just a few clicks, or you can set up your own Docker VPS and install basically whatever you'd like in a Docker container. They have load balancers and firewalls available to help keep your apps online and safe. If you run into any trouble getting set up, Linode comes with amazing 24 seven customer support by phone or ticket, along with hundreds of guides and tutorials to help you get started. Sign up today at linode.com slash dbtech and get a $100 60 day credit on your new Linode account. Links are in the description. So like I mentioned, we are gonna take a look at two different containers today. Uh, one of them will be helpful, uh, kind of a link tree clone that uh, our good friend Techno Tim released uh, as a Docker container here a while back. And we haven't looked at it on this channel. Uh, so I thought we would take a look at it today on this channel. Also, if you're not following him, uh, Techno Tim, definitely do that. He's about to hit 100,000 subscribers. And if you wanna go help him out, that would be amazing. Uh, the other container that we're gonna take a look at is just a fun, quick, easy way to uh, of course, it was Jay Collins, as it almost always is lately, who shared this. And uh, basically, the idea is, uh, well, if you if you click over here, then it will bring us to this uh, to this uh, self-hosted page over on Reddit. Of course, we spend a lot of time on Reddit getting ideas and and interacting that sort of thing. But uh, this is uh, what the way it came up uh, in Discord the other day. Of course, there are multiple ways of doing this. This is just one. And after uh, he he did this, the developer did this. He actually released a second version of it, uh, which I actually find pretty amusing as well. The first one uh, is just the standard uh, Rick Astley, never gonna give you up uh, video uh, in 60 frames per second. Uh, so really dig the uh, the weird smoothness that they brought back to that video. And then of course, there's also uh, a, a modified version where, where he can just never quite hit the right notes, which I just find hilarious. So uh, definitely check out both of those, get those deployed. So let's take a look at how easy it is to actually deploy each one of those. Very, very simple. So uh, what we're gonna do, uh, is actually head over to here uh, to the hub.docker.com slash uh, KL5 uh, Rick Roll. Uh, the first one is just the standard, uh, you know, never gonna give you up whatever song. Uh, and basically it's just, it's really just as simple as this. Uh, you just need to find a port that you're not currently using. Uh, copy that over to with your a Docker Compose file or portainer like I have done. Uh, the KL5 slash Rick Roll unless stopped Port is 9431 for me. I just picked a random four digits and went with that. Of course, you could uh, then uh, you know change that to whatever you need it to be. As long as it's not currently in use, I would not use port 80, but that's just me. Um, and then once you've got this deployed, uh, well, uh, let's let's just take a quick look at it. By in my case, I can go to help.dbtech.com. I'm gonna make sure my volume is down. And just that quickly and easily, now we've got Rick Astley singing to us. Uh, so of course, like I said, that's on help.dbtech.com because, well, if somebody wants to go there to think that they're gonna get help, this is what they're gonna get instead. So like I mentioned, there is two versions of this, just the standard Rick roll, and then there's this cracked version or cracked voice version, which is just hysterical. Definitely check both of those out. Like I said, it's very, very easy to just copy and paste this into, like I said, a Docker Compose file or uh, into Portainer, find the right port. And then of course you will wanna make this public on your network, whether you're using traffic, Nginx proxy manager, uh, Cloudflare tunnels, whatever your preferred method of exposing your applications to the internet, definitely do this. Set it up on something that maybe somebody might actually go to like help or questions or, or whatever you think will get people to go to that link uh, and, and not be conspicuous because it doesn't show up in the URL. In fact, if I come back over to here, um, like it just says homepage.mp4. There's nothing in the title up here, nothing to give it away until it's too late. Now, I do wanna make note that there will be some things you'll have to do uh, for compatibility purposes. Uh, just so there's the standard x86 rec roll, there's an ARM64 rec roll, and then there's a, a voice crack rec roll, uh, both for x86 and ARM64. So make sure you choose the appropriate uh, Docker Compose for the architecture that you're trying to use, as well as whichever uh, video you'd like to use. Make sure you find uh, the right bit of, of Docker Compose for your needs.
So the second Docker container I want to take a look at just real quick today, also very, very easy to deploy. Uh, this one was actually put together by Technotem. Again, if you're not following him, you should be. Uh, like I said, he's also about to hit 100,000 subs. So if you wanted to go help him out, that would be amazing. A link to, to his channel and as well as everything else that you'll need to follow along with any of the stuff in this video down below in the description. So uh, basically this is what he's put together here. Uh, this is his uh, Linktree clone, uh, effectively, that's very, very easy to deploy. And of course, here is what he's got set up for his technotem.live page here. And of course you can click on any of these and head over to his, his channel, uh, his Twitter, his YouTube, his Instagram, whatever the case is, you can head over here uh, and find all of those links very, very easily. Of course, I've, I've, I've also deployed my own uh, over at links.ebtech.com. Uh, and of course I've got very, very similar stuff going on here and you can click any of these. Uh, if we come over here to Portainer and take a look, uh, we do have, let's go over here to stacks and little link, oops, I am not sure why that is doing that. that so for some reason, Portainer decided that even though I deployed this in Portainer, uh, that it is limited access and I can't edit my stack. That is really, really weird. Okay, whatever. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head over here uh, to Technotem's GitHub page for uh, his little link server. That's what he calls it, his little link, uh, which I appreciate. And of course, uh, from here, you can get all kinds of information about how to deploy this. Uh, basically what I did was I came down uh, to this Docker Compose that he's provided right here. Uh, and there's a bunch of stuff in here that you can uh, start with. Basically all you gotta do is copy this again into a Docker Compose or into a, uh, a portainer screen Hopefully, a uh, portainer will accept it next time. Uh, but basically, just kind of come in here and fill in uh, all of these different lines, uh, you know, line by line here. It just really is fill in the blank. And then once you're happy with it, you can just deploy it again via command line or uh, through uh, portainer. Man, I had a brain fart there. Man, it's been a day, I'll tell you. So, Here's the thing though, like this particular Docker Compose doesn't necessarily have all of the available options. So what you might wanna do is actually come up here to this Docker Compose right here. Um, and there are a bunch more options as far as different link types, you know, Steam, Tumblr, Telegram, Figma, uh, email, Spotify, Snapchat, lots of different options in here uh, for the environmental variables that you can uh, fill out. And then again, once you've got all those filled out, deploy on your Docker server. And then of course, again, make sure that it's uh, uh, publicly available. Again, whether you're using Nginx Proxy Manager or Traffic or Cloudflare Tunnels or whatever your preferred method of, of, of accessibility to your containers on the internet happens to be. Uh, but again, very, very easy to deploy uh, for, for both of these really. So that's what I wanted to show in this video is just a couple of different containers uh, that I find useful for very, very different reasons. Um, and I wanted to give it a big shout out to Technotem and of course, congratulate him on his upcoming 100,000 subscriber mark. Uh, but yeah, I'll have links to all of this stuff in the description down below, as well as a few different ways you can support the channel, uh, whether that's, uh, you know, through Patre Patreon, uh, PayPal, uh, dbtech.fans, memberships. Uh, there is now a thanks button below this video. So lots of different ways that you can support the channel if you want to do that. Of course, you don't have to, but if you do uh, support the channel, either through membership or PayPal or Patreon or dbtech.fans, uh, you will get early ad-free access to all of my content when it's available. Uh, even if it's not early access, there will still be ad-free access to all of my new content. So something to think about if you wanna support the channel and not have to put up with annoying ads. So with all that said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me and I will talk to you guys in the next video.